Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, my name is Pope John Paul and we're here with another glorious Dawnless Days Siege Battle for you today and this one is with a twist because we have the Elven Extended submod on today so we have loads of new units for Woodland Realm, for Imladris, um, for uh, Linden as well, I don't think we have Lothlorien here today but, um, but that is always, we can always have them in the future battle maybe but yeah we have some awesome new units to check out in action we have seen them uh before in past videos but we are now about to see them in action once and for all and today the elves are facing a mighty foe they're facing the alliance of dwarves and dale so the dwarves and the elves are, ba are both back at war with each other and it's going to be a bloody one that is for sure and i'm excited to see how this one goes down but we do some have some dwarven warriors already landing on the walls here as Erebor takes these walls for himself. We actually have a unit that we don't usually see in uh, battles as well. We have the Dwarven Miners here, which is a funny old unit to see, but I'm excited to see how these guys do in uh, in battle. I imagine they're going to get focused down really quickly. They are a very light shock infantry unit. Already shock usually gets focused down. Uh, I'm sure those Miners will get focused down even quicker. But yeah, we have artillery coming in here. Shelling worries him in Ladras here, which is a medium bow unit that uh, in Ladras, funny enough, has. Handle, but yeah, they are looking pretty cool. We also have some awesome like choke points already being made over here. Got some uh, Tellery Wardens here uh, in this, uh, this like a pole arm unit. And then we have, uh, what's this? Uh, te oh, no, the Tellery Wardens are the sword unit. What's the pole arm unit then? Tellering Guards. Ah, okay, there you go. But yeah, look at this shield wall already being put up. I mean, that Linden can bring shielded units. It's like, I mean, they can already bring them, I guess, in Shipwright Nobles, but they can bring cheaper ones. It's going to be key. I can already sense it. It's going to be a really, really good uh, sort of like combo to have going on. So yeah, we have uh, Linden over here. We have a uh, another Linden army. I think we have Imladris and we have uh, the Wooden Realm, as we've already seen as well. So we'll see how this one goes down. We have Rangers of uh, the Gulf Loon here, which is a, a really elite arch unit. They look fancy as hell, um, which is certainly going to make it very interesting. But yeah, we have um, extended... Uh, elves on in this one and we also have lost factions i was wondering why we needed lost factions for this one but uh i'm not entirely sure yet uh because all these factions are i get like not um not uh like lost faction exclusive so i guess maybe they were planning to do like a you um like a do something with lost factions then decide that to change their mind but anyway we've already got some daily and spear guard taking a lot of casualties there the running through after being uh uh, like through the oil. I mean they may have broken down the gate, but it doesn't mean you've taken the gate They'll still chuck oil on you. They are about to take it and there you go The towers fall down and now this daily army can spill through and they'll be met by Linden swords it seems first, but yes, we are on a Karith a Karith lift or something like that. It's one of the new um, One of the new maps. It's a really cool map. I'm excited to see how this one uh, goes We played a few sieges on it before it's a really big map as you can see here with lots of twisty roads and stuff like that it's certainly going to be interesting to see we actually have some um, some pole arms on here rivendell long spears this is a light pole arm unit here uh, no surprise i mean they have literally no armor on but they do look they do look pretty cool i mean you can see them here i'm quite quite impressed with them they look good we've also got some sword masters in ladris which is a, like a medium shock infantry unit they look pretty good as well. I do kind of like the silver. They, I feel like they could do with being a little bit brighter, maybe. But I feel like they could be a little bit more silvery. Um, like, like sort of like the guards in Ladris. They're like a really bright, reflective sort of armor. They're actually kind of like... The, like the light bounces off them a little bit. The light on these, like certainly the helmets here, doesn't really bounce off so much. But yeah, so they are getting ready. It seems as though the dwarves are taking them, their time in, uh, in getting actually through the gates. They actually haven't even captured them. They just knocked it down. Honestly, I'd send these miners through to try and capture it, but or get crosswords up on the wall, that is for sure. Certainly, there is a few buggy problems with this gate, if I remember correctly. Like, getting off it and around it is just a bit of a pain. We have Tellerian Wardens here that are about to... Looks like they're about to go outside the walls. They're not about to go outside the walls, are they? I think they are. No, maybe they're not. Maybe they are. Yes, they are. Okay. I do believe this is because one of the players did actually desync. If uh, I can't, I can't remember. They did say in the replay that one of the players did desync, and uh, that did cause them to sally out. Whether this is it, I'm not sure, but it does seem like it a little bit. But anyway, it does give us some early game action. That is for sure. We can see how these Tellerian wardens do in combat. I mean, I'd imagine they're going to beat the shock infantry. 
Uh, they are only miners after all. But yes, if you're enjoying Dawn's Days on the channel and would like to see some more, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here and a comment to show your support. It really does help out the channel and I really do appreciate it, guys. And uh, yeah, we're working towards 7k subs. I don't know when we'll hit it, but we'll hit it at some point. And uh, yeah, all the support is very much appreciated as we work towards that. But as you can see, the Dwarven Miners are losing. Uh, no surprise. They are like just just in some random clothes and that is it. But yeah, they've actually, uh, the Italian Wardens are now about to get attacked by some much more elite troops. We've got Dwarven Barrett Guard and we have Iron Guard going in. And this is going to make for a bloody choke point fight, that is for sure. All around the gates, a shame they don't still have those towers, they could do a lot of damage. Anything happening on the other side? Ah yes, the same thing happened. Yeah, this player definitely desynced, he just sent out his general and his whole entire army. Um, so yeah, this is unfortunate because he's got like really elite shock and stuff in here. But yeah, as you can see, I mean the elite shock and uh, swords here is doing some damage. They are going to probably kill off this uh, daily sword and also this daily spear guard, you imagine. So that's a shame because already the elves are at a massive number disadvantage. But definitely strap yourselves in, get yourselves some snacks and get yourselves some drinks because this is still a very close one. Even without like an elven army participating, it is still a very close siege battle, I can assure you of that. Yeah, the elves battling on, I mean, even though they don't have the numbers, the elves, they are elite troops. I think submod troops are probably going to be overpowered. I'm not sure, but I imagine they're going to be pretty strong. Daily and Spear Guard here getting cut down. I mean, it's 4,500 against 7,100. So, yeah, it's about, about 3,000 mana disadvantage for the elves. But they don't care. They fought greater odds, and they've won. They'll take on the, uh, take on the dwarves and dale. See how they can do. Yeah, they're doing their best. They're, do they're doing pretty well. How are they doing outside the choke point? Again, they're actually doing pretty well, doing a lot of damage. They have got um, also these ranges of uh, Golf Loon that are just focusing down units out here. I imagine they're not getting many kills. Yeah, don't even. They're focusing this uh, Dwarven Warrior unit. Barely got a kill. We are seeing ship right Nobles losing though. Ah, that is painful to see. Ship right Nobles though should carve through a lot of these Dwarven Warriors, you imagine, unless they do things like pull through. I hate that this is like rock stuff still here. Why does Gondor Towers have to be broken? Makes no sense. But they are actually, you know, doing damage to these Dwarven Warriors now with their ammo. But they are already burning through a lot of it. And we've got ranges of Golf Loon there also. Running out of ammo, it looks like they've been focusing it on things like the towers, just wasting their ammo, really. Um, so that's a shame. But, I mean, I imagine these rangers are going to be really strong in uh, in melee as well, so that's not the end of the world. More rangers of Golf Luin. Um, we have now got the elves of the Wooden Realm coming up here to support. We actually have Lords of Lasgarden as well, using ammunition. Uh, I'd hold on to that unless... Oh, they're firing at Dwarven Barrett Guard, a very good unit to shoot, that is for sure. If they get these guys off the wall... They may be able to turn around this fight down here. That might be their plan. I mean, if they beat all these troops here, then they can surround all of Linden's like troops that are sallying out the gate, that is for sure. It is a very nice early start to this fight, that is for sure. Oh, brutal their decapitation from that Linden soldier. He just keeps killing men. Look at him. There's the gold guy here in the front. Just killing men left, right, and center. It's like he doesn't even give a damn about those dwarven lives. And who should? Who would? He, his his life is immortal. Theirs is mere mortal. Well, they live a long time, the dwarves. They're not quite immortal, though. Rangers of the Gulf of Loon now in there. We ha have got Noldoran swords losing, along with Shipwright Nobles. They're losing decisively. I think it's because they're getting shot the air by crossbows. These crossbows have a really nice angle, actually. And they're firing onto the, uh, into the flanks of these troops here. And that is going to be brutal. That is actually, yeah. I mean, it depends how many dwarves they kill, but this is, yeah, not where, obviously, what the dwarves, uh, what the elves want to be doing, that is for sure. Certainly going to make it tough for the, like, the remaining elven players. And also we have Dale landing over here, just to make their troubles even harder. I would have thought maybe they'd bring one cavalry unit just to, like, if any units is to sally out, like, sally down, they just can just charge. But maybe not. 
Breach points have been opened up here, and Imladris is now going to fill these points with spears of Imladris. So just a medium spear unit. I do apologize. I don't know why it's a little bit laggy. Maybe it's because of the... Um, maybe it's because like all the mods being used. I'm not sure, but it's just like a little bit choppy here and there. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, the spears are holding the line. Dale really does look like a glorious unit. It's one of my favorite looking units. I think like as an overall faction, the armor, like this armor here we're seeing right now from Dale, it's beautiful. It really is. The detail on it, oh, it is good. I'm glad that they haven't altered it. I think Dale's as perfect as it is. They got that faction right from the very start. I think all they changed to it, like throughout uh, like its history has been just that they changed Lake Town Guard from shock infantry to pole arms. Do you remember that, guys? How many of you remember that? That was a long time ago. Feels like a long time ago anyway. Uh, Dwarven Warriors here facing Spears and Ladris. And they're actually going to retreat back onto the walls, but they'll lose a bunch of troops for doing this. And we have... Uh, yeah, this is like Linden just going out. I mean, there is also Linden Ladris here. I think he's just putting his long spears in here to make sure the Dwarves are going to struggle to get through this choke point. And they will. Like, these Miners and Iron Guard here are just going to get impaled on those long spears. And also, I mean, will they not get oil? I think they will, because the just holds the gate. So they should just have a load of oil tipped onto them, all these dwarves. But look at the amount of dwarves out there. They should just be getting, like, oil tipped on them and killing, like, hundreds right now. We also have elves getting onto the wall here. We have sword masters of Inladris. They are actually getting onto the wall. I imagine they're coming over to deal, deal with these dwarven warriors. But they need to be careful because they are getting shelled hard by uh, dwarven artillery out there. Oh, actually, Dalian artillery. Uh, the less common of the two, I'd say. I would have thought Dale's less known for their artillery. But there you go. They brought it, not, not the dwarves. But yeah, there you go. That shows how broken Gondor walls are. They're actually hollow at the moment. Uh, hopefully they get sorted. I imagine it will. Yeah, we have uh, the elves trying to battle on here in this choke point. Battle on and fight for the choke point. We, oh, we do have some cavalry. I was mentioning that the elves need cavalry. They have the elven king rider. That's very good. They could certainly use that unit to uh, just try and charge into units that are breaking, uh, like sliding down like this. But as you can see, they have actually managed to sort of get in behind. Uh, Linden and they are cutting down like the uh, the D sync Linden player. And they've got mantra claimers in here. They've actually sent in a lot of elite troops. There's still plenty out here. I mean, Dale does have Cav, which is good. Um, but that is it. So, I mean, the Elven King might have a lot of joy. There are a lot of de dead elves out here, but I'm sure there's a lot of dead dwarves as well. These elves are going to be, though, would have been so handy. They could have got so many kills. It's gonna if they actually win this, the elves. It's only gonna make their victory just a bit more sweeter, but also a bit more uh, sorrowful because they would have lost so many elves for nothing. I don't think they've broken many or any Dalian and uh, Torvan units. It certainly weakened a lot. There you go. General's already dead. That is uh, gonna be the Linden player that did sally out, not of his own accord. It's just the dumb AI does that. And you can see, I think these are all, well, they're not all breaking actually, they are just retreating. But yeah, as you can see, the dwarves are losing a lot of troops from oil right now. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, the camera is being a pain, that's what I can tell you though. Let's see if the oil comes down again. There you go, oil comes down, kills a bunch of dwarves. I mean, Dale is now capturing the point, so that's something. So the dwarves shouldn't have to deal with too many more torrents of oil, but it's killing like a good 20 or 30, yeah, like a good 20 or 30 or, uh, orcs, dwarves every time. Poor guys set alight. I mean, they are only dwarven warriors, they're expendable in the grand scheme of things for the dwarves, but still. The gates fall to the enemy. There you go, the gates have fallen. They already took them once and then lost them, so there you go. Uh, have they taken the other gate? Is that what they're saying? No, it is, is that one, fair enough. Well, anyway, the elves have set up another pretty decent position over here. I don't know if they can just walk up these cliffs. I'm going to say no. The rangers of Gulf Loon are ready. Um, they've got a pretty good choke point here set up. The dwarves, I imagine, will take it slow. They'll get crossbows up. They'll get other things going. 
How do they manage to take this gate? I have no idea. Where is the cap point for that gate? I don't even know. But they managed to take that one. That's interesting how they've managed that. We also have now got violent guards pushing up this uh, slope here. There is nothing protecting here. And there's a choke point that's been opened up here. And the sword masters of Imladris are in fact in combat and they are losing. To violent guards, I mean, they are elite swords. These sword masters, they've trained for many, many centuries and now they're getting cut down by mortal men that have learned their skill in a matter of years. Maybe it's because the elves are just out of practice. We've got Warriors of Atlant in Ladras coming down now. These guys are actually pretty good in combat. They have a pretty good double-handed sword unit. They're a pretty good double-handed sword unit. Also, they have a bow. So they're actually pretty useful. Are they going to get sent in? I wonder. Doesn't look like it. Looks like they changed their mind on the sending them down. But these violent guards are certainly you want to be focusing on killing. That is for sure. Over here, it seems as though those remaining Linden... Linden troops that sallied out of the gate are getting killed off. As I say that, one man gets gutted. Or one elf gets gutted. His iron guard will be a pain. I wonder how many they've lost. Oh, they haven't lost a single man. That is brutal. Spearing as many elves as possible. Rip in peace. It looks as though the elves are going to be retreating quite far up this hill and fair enough there's a lot of ways that the uh the enemy can come up it could be already a defense at the very far like like the rear of this settlement basically it's gonna be it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough for the elves it would have helped if they didn't lose uh, an ally but you can't have everything but i like that these tellering guard and these uh, tellering wardens here i feel like could get shot on the flank and this like where the marksman adele is setting up now if they just position themselves there they can just shoot into the flank of those soldiers and uh, that's what they need to do. And it looks like we're going to see the Rangers of Ravani do exactly that. They are going to just set up here. I mean, you can't even see the elves. You can still see the, the points of their spears. But yeah, these are, these are Rangers, I imagine, are going to open fire. As are the marks, marksmen. They're just setting up a little bit in front. And we're going to get a nice volley, I think, in a minute. And we'll hear the screams of elves. Or maybe not. Here we go. There you go. The first volleys. And they're not actually firing at what I thought they were going to fire at. They're firing at the ranges of uh, the Gulf of Loom, which is also, I guess, not a bad target. These guys are elite archers. But still, you can get through that choke point really quickly, really easily. But maybe they want to get rid of their uh, competition in the, arch in the archer theater, maybe. Yes, if you're enjoying watching uh, Dawnless Days and you want to send in your own replays to have them featured as well, then feel free to... Send them to my Discord. It's the best place to send them to get uh, me to have a look at them. The link to my Discord is in the description of this video, as it is with every video. And if you'd like to join and get involved in Dawnless Days, or just to send in your own replays, then be featured on the channel, maybe get a little bit YouTube famous, who knows, then feel free to send them in my way. I'm always looking for more Dawnless Days and generally Total War replays. So feel free to send them in. Yeah, there you go. Archers just firing off, trying to do what damage they can. I mean, these uh, ranges of Gulf Luna, you get to take a casualty. I can't. And the same, it seems, for the uh, for Dale. It seems like they haven't done much damage. Archer the Archer uh, is, like, sometimes is, I feel like it's just a bit of a waste of ammo. I feel like both sides just don't really achieve a lot. But that's when I, uh, that's only, again, like, with me, though. I feel like I always just shoot it. Arch units never do any damage. Bardings over here. So many bardings. My gosh, look at the sheer amount of these guys. I mean, they're a gorgeous looking unit. Really are. I mean, we'll just quickly look at the detail on these guys. Like, look at, like, the birds on there on their chest plate. Um, and what they else they got? They got, like, on their helmet as well. They have, like, loads of stuff going on with their helmet. Looks awesome. He's just, like, <laughs> talking through his uh, chain mail. I think that would be the only thing I'd maybe change. Is this? I don't know if I'm a big fan of this being leather. Uh, maybe I'd make this chain mail, but I don't know. It just looks kind of funny. But they do look good. They look like a glorious unit. Maybe they would be fine like that leather, because uh, I guess Dale can't kit his entire army out in mail. They aren't the most, like, rich of uh, nations, put it like that. They're not a rich nation. They do have uh, trade with 
The dwarves, but that doesn't mean a lot. The dwarves are the one with the riches. Okay, anyway, Javi's being set up here, as you can see. These Javis have been, uh, these are axe throws, in fact, to be precise. I don't know what they're throwing at. I think they're throwing at these rangers here, trying to do damage to them. Bit of a waste of time, I feel. Um, they have been throwing some axes over here as well. Actually, looks like they haven't done any damage. These axe throws just are don't, not that great. It's a bit of a shame. So I remember axe throws and things like Battle of Middle Earth being amazing. And in this, they're... Well, they don't do anything, really. They're medium skirmishers. And like, again, I mean, they're against heavy and medium stuff themselves. They are going to kind of suck, I guess. They need to be throwing these things against light units. I mean, they killed one warden. Uh, one warden, yeah. That is pretty pathetic, guys. Come on. At least when you go into combat, they should be okay in combat. I would have thought they have an axe and a shield, but maybe not. But it does seem as though the attackers are being generally just quite slow now. Um, I'm not sure why, but they have the numbers. I mean, I guess the choke points have got to assault, have got pole arms in. Just bring in your own pole arms, though. I imagine the dwarves have brought a bunch. Um, and Dale, certainly, I think I've seen, maybe not on this side yet, Lake Town Guards, actually. So, yeah, no, Lake Town Guards are here. And I also can see Pikes, which will be Vineland Watchmen. And I think I've seen the same on this side. Um, I think I've seen... Oh, I've seen two Mordens this side. But there is also Pikes over here. We've got uh, Vineland Watchmen. I mean, they're not great for um, Missile Block, but they are generally just a Pike unit. If you need to get through a choke point. I guess they're just worried that they're going to get focused down. But again, look at these units. These Dale's troops here. Dale's troops, like the armor, the chest plate in there. Oh, it's gorgeous. It really is. The shield as well. I don't know what it is. Just Dale. Dale just looks great. It really does. Just is a, just a good looking faction. That man's got COVID. Stop coughing everywhere, sir. We are waiting on the next bit of combat, it seems. It, just both sides just going to have a standoff and wait. Oh, no. Here we go. First bit of combat all the way over here. How did this Dwarven unit get behind uh, the Wooden Realm lines? I don't know. I'm surprised we haven't seen any, like, sub-mod units for the Wooden Realm. They are... They've got some pretty handy shock infantry. So we've got the base shock infantry of Linden. The Snoldorian sword's pretty good. They should do relatively well. I mean, all this allows this extended Elven uh, someone. It brings a lot of lower tier units to the table for Elves. And that just allows the Elves to bring numbers. Uh, numbers of relatively decent troops. Perfect for things like Sieges. When you need relatively good troops and also... Uh, yeah, how's that unit got there as well? Is there just like a secret path? Can you go through here? Let's be able to go through around one of these spots. Because the last column blades are firmly shutting the door on these dwarves. I say I think with every faction, but also the Wooden Realm, like their last column blades, their last column spears, they look amazing. They really do. There is rumor that it's going to be like a, a polearm unit that's sort of like uh, a polearm unit, a uh, shock infantry unit, sorry, that's like the, the two wardens. It looks like the two wardens, but just has a, like a different weapon instead. I think they have like maybe a. A spear, you know, something coming as well. I mean, it looks a bit like them with a shield and spear. I'm just all over more stuff for the Wooden Realm. A great faction. A great faction. Yeah, Last Guard and Blades, they're doing okay here. They should win. They are very... Oh, they're heavy, actually. Now. I thought they used to be very heavy, but maybe they've been downgraded like the Dwarves have here. The Dwarves are now medium axes. They should... Uh, get beaten, I think, by the by the elves. As you can see here, Axe Warrior has been beaten. We'll see the same with the Dwarven Warriors in a moment, I'm sure. We actually have a general here. We have Ravanian Regents here. He could get focused down. I mean, these elves have insane range. Uh, I mean, those Lords of Last Garden are firing all the way back there, and they're hitting the Ravanian Regents. Just trying to weaken him, do some damage. If they kill a Dale General or a General pretty early, that'll be huge. There is Elven King Cav over here. And that is actually dealing a nasty blow to the Dwarves, killing off a Dwarven Warrior unit. Again, looking amazing in their silver armor. You know if an Elven unit's in silver, it's good. Gold's just like... It's just like, I don't know. It's nothing to them. Silver's where it is. 
They love to kit their troops out in uh, gold, but silver, they only do that to a few units. You see, the reviving regions is really making moves now, really trying to get over there. The Elven King might want to try and just get out of there soon. But maybe they're thinking if they can the bait this general. I mean, this is a general going in after a command unit. This isn't actually a general here for the Wooden Realm. They've brought, I presume, a Lasgarl and uh, a Lord Lasgarl as their general. Yeah, once they. Uh, But yeah, once they beat these units over here, they could, in theory, trap this general. I mean, he's also getting shot at by archers. So I think this is the plan, is to try and beat these uh, beat these dwarves and then go in and support this fight here. Which they should be able to do. I mean, if they could get they could get units down there like Warriors and Ladrys, get them down there. Trap this Ravanian region in combat. They could do so much damage. If the elves saw how the dwarves snuck around this fight, they could do the same. No, they, they honestly look like they're going to try and pull through. If they do that, I'll be very disappointed. By the way, look at this. Ravanian Regent's losing decisively. This is huge. If this Ravanian Regent, if this general gets killed to Elven King, you've got to remember the Ravanian Regent as well is a shock cav. Elven King's more of a melee cav. He will do okay in prolonged melee. And this is the sort of thing he's built for. He is, I mean, I'm sure you'd appreciate trying to get multiple hundred kills with the dwarves. But if they can kill this, dwar uh, this uh, daily general... They could cause a mass travel, but that general, oh, he might get out of there okay. He's down to 22 men. I don't know. He's wavering. Oh, I don't know, you know. He's low. And he breaks. They need to kill him. He could. He will probably rally. But that is a huge, huge loss. Yeah, friends routing, but his general is not dead. They could do with getting him up. Get that forest archer going. Yeah, he re-rallied. Focus him down. Is he in range? I don't know, but the forest arch is still moving, so I'm going to guess no. The Elven King has retreated, which is probably the smart decision. But it's all going off over on this side. Dale is in a little bit of trouble, this Dalian army is. Anyway, there are two Dale armies and two Dwarven armies, so... I mean, if they can basically get rid of a general, that... Didn't get rid of an entire army, but it certainly makes it much weaker, and that might even the odds a little bit for the elves. They can maybe do with getting rid of a couple more generals as well, especially Dales. Get rid of all the Dalian troops, and then they just got to worry about the dwarves. And there you go, the Elven, uh, the Ravanian region is broken. Don't know if he's actually dead. No, he's not dead. That's a shame. Even better to kill him, but breaking him is a good start. Crossbows being set up over here, and I mean, good thing they have. Uh, like swords that they want to just put in this choke point to hold here because they are now protecting a pole arm unit but these crossbow bolts will start zipping through the air they're going to start taking out infantry left right and center you imagine and these archers here I feel like they're not even going to bother wasting ammo on those crossbows they're waiting for interesting stuff we have a tomb warden general this is an interesting move by the dwarves bring a general of a tomb warden that could be very susceptible to a, uh, a couple of volleys. But we do also have breaking going on over here. Oh, boy. Dale has been routed in a few areas now. We've got Violent Watchmen being broken here. Bardings has been chased down the hill by Swordmaster Vim and Ladris. That's always good to see. This is a different Dale army. These, this one here still has its general. Or at least I think it does. Yeah. Uh, that's Day 9 for... Have another Ravanian region all the way back there. Yeah, so this Dale army has a general. It's the other one on the other side of the map that is uh, without a general now. But even still, killing these uh, Bardings would be a major, major boost. Or at least weakening them. But yeah, these Swordmasters, they can just keep running down this hill. There's just so much from the kill. Keep killing them, boys. Just keep killing them. And these, like, these Bardings are running away. They're just allowing... They'd be better to stand in combat and just save their other units. Like, they're actually okay in combat. They won't win, but they, they might do some damage. And they'll save the other two for sure. But yeah. This uh, barding unit is probably going to die pretty quickly and pretty easily. Because it's already it's already run away a lot. What we got coming up here? We've got Iron Guards. That's a pretty decent response to those Sword Masters. But it is a Spear unit against Shock. And like Spears against Shock. Usually the Shock wins. But this is Dwarven, sh uh, it's Dwarven Spears. So who knows.
We have more infantry on the way, though. Like I said, there's Iron Guard are coming, and we have the Dalian Swords on the way. They should probably deal with these Swordmasters eventually. I mean, one can pin them down, and the other can run away. But now it's the time of him just to do some running. I mean, luckily, Dale actually broke at the right time there. Perfect timing. And he can now run. They can run back to their lines. They're already routing another unit here with Dale. This is a violent guard. A really good unit to kill off with a much cheaper unit in Teleron Wardens. Looks like they broke those uh, violent guard pretty easily. We're also going to see Warriors of Imlad just be sent up. I don't know why. I mean, these uh, elves are going to make it. They're going to make it back, these Sword Masters of Inladris. Don't need to sacrifice the archers as well. They could retreat. And, oh, we have the Elven King Rider. I believe this is the one that was fighting the Revining Regents on the other side. He's just thrown himself in. I think he's after archers. He's after crossbows, yeah. Don't think he's going to get that many kills, but he's doing some damage. We've also got these rangers of Ravani and Dave being massacred. Whether that was by him, I'm not sure. Artillery has been firing in. Is that enemy or friendly? I don't think the elves have any, so I'm going to presume that is the onager of Dale. It's just shelling and hitting his own troops. There's a mighty old fight going on down here. Vine and Guard fighting off against Spearsman and Ladris. Fighting for the slope of this settlement. Yeah, they, they should hold for a while. I mean, Spears versus Spears. It's going to be a pretty uneventful fight there. As you can see here, though, the elves have defeated the dwarves. And they've actually done a lot of damage to a mansion reclaimer here. This is a good unit to kill off. Elves kind of pulling through here, though. Elves definitely just kind of pulled through there. They did break the dwarves in doing it. It's a bit of a cheesy tactic, but it does work. They are after the mansion claimers. They thought, I think they think... I think they thought they were going to retreat, but they were just repositioning to stand their ground here. The officer's just losing his head there, though. The elves doing their bit, though. I mean, they could flank, perhaps. If they go in column, they can maybe flank this unit. They need to uh, be careful. I mean, they're going to try, but they're not in the right formation. It always pisses me off when people... Uh, I mean, he nearly did it. He nearly did it. It's a little bit messy, but anyway. The Mantra claim is going to attack them instead now. Linden's doing his best. He's losing, actually, here. Probably would have been just fine just leaving the Wooden Realm to cut these guys down. But they are going to break those Mantra Reclaimers. And it looks like we're going to see the General of the Dwarves already being pushed up here. Two more ones are being thrown up. This choke point here, by the way, doesn't seem like the Elves have lost anything. Terran Guards lost one man. Terran Wardens just holding their ground against a lot of Dalian troops here. I mean, this is the Dale Army with no General. So morale can't be great, but yeah, you can see the bodies on the ground. There are a lot of Dalian troops dead here. The Halberds are holding, but let's see. Yeah, does that general go into combat? He has. Two Wardens are in combat, and they're in combat with that... Uh, Tellering Guard unit. I was going to call it a Tellering Warden, but that's a sword unit. So I guess they are in combat with them as well. But it's Wardens versus Wardens. Who will be superior? I'm going to imagine it's going to be the two Wardens. They'll beat a sword unit quite easily. Whether it'll be that pole arm unit, though, is a different matter. I'd certainly say these guys are inferior to, say, Noldorian nobles. Are the Oh, jeez, the guy just got impaled there. I don't know if you saw that. Two Wardens are certainly infer inferior, though, to Noldorian nobles. Whether they're inferior to the Tellerian guards is a different matter. Both sides, though, just going to stand there and poke each other. We've got a full ammo Lord of Last Garland coming up, and we know where every shot of this is going. Right into the back of these Tomb Wardens. And oh my god, that's going to be painful. That is going to be nasty. The Elves did repel the troops over here. But there is fresh uh, troops on the way. We've got Bardings. And we also have a Violent Guard unit here. That's going to defeat the Warriors of Imladris. And this will open up another route 
for the attackers to come through. And it may mean that the defense will have to retreat once again. Yes, as you can see here, it does seem as though the elves are being pushed back. Pushed back. I mean, if they can hold, they're going to have to hold here, around here too. If they're going to, or they're just going to accept, oh, the spear unit's just going to try and run for it. Okay, I was going to say, the spear unit's going to get surrounded and killed, but they're going to do a runner anyway, because the archers over here have been broken, so it was a matter of time anyway. This position became untenable, and the elves are going to try and save their lives, but... There is a horde of Dalian troops and Dwarven troops on their way. I mean, the balance power doesn't seem to have changed anything yet. Maybe the defenders are going to try and go for time. I don't know. Um, we have been here quite a while. I hope you guys still got plenty of snacks and drinks. They may need to uh, go for time to try and win this one. Two Mordens are getting focused down now. By the uh, Lord's Last Garland. No surprise there. These guys just soaking up the shots. I think Cross was trying to uh, shoot them back, but I don't think that's going to achieve much. Yeah, these two more just need to keep getting focused down. I mean, actually, they are killing a few of these Lords of Last Garland. Over on this side, it seems as though they're holding for now. I mean, it's as soon as you get around to... Actually, no, yeah, you cannot get... You have to get through the cap point to even worry about this, this flank over here. So these guys can hold at this position they're at for now for quite a while, by the looks of it. They've got plenty more shock infantry and swords. They may want to start thinking about contributing some over here because it does seem as though... Well, I don't know. It might just look like, look like they got a lot. they got Lawmasters of... Lawmasters of Rivendell. This is a very light melee infantry unit, but they haven't sent it in first. I don't know how good it is. I'm going to guess pretty good because it's been kept at the back. Um, but yeah, it's a sword unit. They look kind of cool. Let's just look at one of these guys close up. Like it's basically just an elf that's just like walked out of the house and is like, you know what? I want to fight someone. That looks like what it is, really. Um, so anyway, we will we'll leave them to their business. We have more uh, more art going in here. Ranges of the Gulf of Loom going in. This is pikes. These pikes are the pain for the uh, elves here, but they should beat them, I think. This Tellering Guard. Well, actually, the Tellering Guard are starting to lose, man. They only lost like one guy. Now they lost a lot more. The elves, they fight on. Teller Wardens are starting to lose. I mean, it is, there's a few cracks starting to open for the defenders. These uh, Lords of Last Garden here, I'm sure it's been using plenty of ammunition. But it has uh, and it has been focused on this general. And he's got him to 36 men. Oh, jeez. So close, but so far. That general is in no shape now to be thrown into the front. The elves have actually been pushed back over here. The dwarves have managed to flank around. The Dolorian swords here are getting surrounded. We're going to see some Elven Archers going to combat Lords of Last Garland going in here. These are heavy bows against medium axes. Going to say the axes will still win, but they'll give them a hell of a fight with these Lords of Last Garland. And we've got Barrack Guard as well coming in. My gosh, they're really throwing stuff in now. It's there's everything plus the kitchen sink at this point to try and break through this elven defense. Seems like on this side they're taking it a little bit slower again. Ranged Ravanian just focusing down what they need to. I like how the elves, by the way, put their shields above their heads. And they just like show off their chests and legs. Like that is not the point of a shield. Do not do this. That's why you have like ranks. So the second rank defends your head while you defend everyone's chest and legs and necks. 
everywhere that's you know squishy and painful and could kill you. They're still clashing here, and I mean, I'm not surprised. These, <laughs> I'm interested to see how many kills these pole arms have got. It's going to be interesting, that's for sure. Oh, and they've just done a runner. The elves actually gave up this choke point here. I guess because they know that the dwarves are flanking around here. They know it's inevitable they're going to get beaten here. Are they going to even try and retreat stuff here? They may just let it all die. They may be like, you, you fought hard. So you can die here. I mean, they could just turn a unit around when the time comes. They turn the rangers around, and maybe even the swords, and they could defend their rear while uh, the spears hold on at the front. We'll see what's breaking here. Dalian swords break at eight men. Jeez, that was a very effective use of the Dalian swords. Marksman and Dale losing no surprise, but it's a good sign for the elves that Marksman and Dale being sent in. They're throwing in archers now to try and break through. Archers being sent is always a good sign that you're either depleting the enemy of ammunition or you're depleting them of normal swords, basically. And having to send in archers. Because some people do send in archers early. I do it. If your archers are out of ammo, send them in early. Try and preserve a sword unit. Especially if you're just tying down a choke point. They are very near the cap point now. Very near. Artillery is still coming in. Dale is just still shelling. How much ammo has it still got? Oh, it's like literally in its last shot. Literally in its last shot. And they are putting a lot of ammunition as well to try and take out these last guard and blades with crossbows. Honestly, I wouldn't, would not bother. Just let this uh, sword unit here break, which it probably will. Eventually, it's going to loot. It's taking a lot of losses, and then you can just flank around this through the gap that this unit's going to vacate. That's what I do. Absolutely, still coming in. I don't know how. It's out of ammo. I think it is now out of ammo. Yep, they got off the crew. Have got off. The men have broken and are fleeing. What are the numbers now? Two thousand versus three thousand eight hundred. They are finally making progress, and over here they have broken. They have broken the uh, the elves, finally. He came down to some Lake Town Guard to do the job and some Marksman and Dale's the flank. Fair enough. For now, they can prepare to assault this windy road up here. And I mean, this one's also a pretty painful one to get through. I mean, this is the same Teller and Guard, uh, just a fresh Teller and Ward, and they're all being thrown in to defend that next choke point. And they're going to need to get through, burn through more ammunition to try and break through that choke point. I don't know if they've got it, the ammunition. But that's what they're going to need. This choke point here, there's no pole arms in it just yet. So it's certainly much more of a viable uh, choke point to go for. I mean, what's at the top of this hill? They've got shipwright nobles off. Might as well be pole arms. That's a tough sword you need to break through. Let's turn it around to better lighting. There you go. Better lighting is the dwarves retreat. They've been sent packing, boys. You've done well. And now the crossbow bolts come flying in. It's just, it's relentless. Lord's Last Garden being sallied down. It looks like a lot of us have been sent down. Lord Masters of Rivendell have gone in. Let's see how they do. These guys without armor. Like I said, just come out of the pub. They're ready for a scrap. An elven pub where no one gets drunk. Oh, a nice little cheeky beheading there. Oh, another beheading. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, look at this animation. This guy's just beating up an elf. Oh, and he nearly got stabbed in the chest. Oh, my gosh. Kind of missed a bit of it, but I don't know if you saw the guy just punching that elf. That's another one dead there. Rip. He's just like, please, mercy. And now he dies. They are doing okay. These law masters are doing... They're doing all right. They're an 80-man unit. I imagine they must be really good. Yeah, they're elite. Yeah, these guys are good then. I'm expecting them to get a lot of kills. But the dwarves are really storming in now. They realize I think they have, like, not little time, but they're running out of time. All this blobbing will achieve, though, is uh, give perfect targets to those elven archers that still have ammo. Imlad just throwing in some shock infantry here as well. I mean, who's got ammo back here? Warriors of Inladris. I mean, I don't know what they're firing at, but... If you want to fire something that's pretty vulnerable or about to break... I mean, there's a plenty of targets down there. Plenty of targets down there. I mean, I was just shooting those pole arms, maybe these pikes, in fact. These law masters still fighting in here. They're in, deep in enemy lines now. Do they give a damn? Absolutely not. They're going to fight the hardest guys in the Dwarven army, and that is the Mansion Claimers. And the Iron Guard. They're also pretty tough. But yeah, it seems as though this army on this side has kind of come to a halt almost. They just do not want to solo pit. It's really just down to this side over here where they're just pushing through. I mean, I'm not saying they won't attack again. They probably will. They're just not making any moves at the moment. And they have, well, like, 10, 11 minutes left to uh, to break through. Or the elves to massacre them. One or the other. These law masters are going to have some good kills, I think. I mean, they must have, like, pretty good uh, melee attack. Is this a fresh unit or is this the same unit? I'm not sure. I think it's the same unit. Yeah, these Lord Masters got up to a silver chevron. I don't know how many they were on originally, but they've done well. Put it like that. Units, uh, we've got Lasgar Warriors in Lagos here. We've also got some Lasgar and uh, archers down here. They're also being broken. Lords of Lasgar, yet. Yeah. Got a general in here, an old Dorian sword general. This is in Lagos throwing in his general now. I think he's out of troops otherwise. Yeah, it's down to the Wooden Realm. Oh, he's got some Rivendell long spears. Doesn't want to waste them. We got Revardian Regents here, and they can sneak around here. Can they do that then? Looks like they can sneak around. The Elves are fighting day all the way over here. We've got some Warriors of Enlargers that are losing to Bardings. That is no surprise. Bardings are pretty elite. And like I said, pretty good in melee. Pretty good hybrid unit. Oh, getting chopped down there is that Dalian boy. Cut them down, boys. I mean, need some ammo to focus this Reviving region down. Is there any ammo left? Not really. Not at all, in fact. Well, Dorian Sword General is retreating. Oh, this, uh, Rangers of the Gulf of Loon has ammo. They could do with shooting that general. He could definitely do it. I mean, what's happening here? They're not really even using, doing anything. This late-down guard, though, could get focused down if they wanted to. They could just shoot that to pieces. I'd also keep shooting that, uh, Tomb Warden. Kill him. That might do damage to Dwarven morale. But here we go. We've got crossbows in here. I don't know if this is a mistake. But they've been thrown in with plenty of ammo left. Maybe they were like, screw it. We need the bodies. We don't need the bolts. Shit, right, nobles here, they're being thrown in. They will do a good job. I mean, they're not selling out in a foolish charge, that's for sure. Rivendell Longspears have been committed. 
Uh, oh, there's another one up here. So I was thinking that one's still in reserve, but there's a, yeah, a long spear already in here. There's actually a lot of elves in this push. This also is probably making a pretty good target for any Dalian or Dwarven archers still alive. Which I can certainly see arrows coming in, so they are still alive. Might be Bardings, in fact. Oh, it is. It's Bardings with... I mean, this one's got half ammo. This one is not. It's got just about... Just a little bit less. But they all start to do some damage. We've got more long... Uh, Hall Guardians coming down now. Not even Long Spears. So now Hall Guardians. Can they flank these guys? Perhaps? The Bardings did also win. They have found a way around. But, I mean, there's not much to flank, actually. There you go. Violent Watchmen. They're in there. They have got him behind. Can the Hall Guardians set themselves up and poke them to death? Let's have a look. Hall Guardians finally in their first bit of action. And my god, was it needed. The Hall Guardians are in a very weird formation now, though. They need to reform. I also get this shock infantry maybe down here. Try and charge into that pot and that pike. The pike is trying to uh, commit. The shock it's sent in now. They can do a lot of damage to these whole guys in jail. They're getting focused down. As they rightly should be. They are a big, big threat. What we've got over here. Rivendell long spears going in. They're losing. The elves just have to hold on. If they hold on, they win. The dwarves and the and Dale need to break through like now. You gotta remember as well that the elves lost an army at the very start of this game, and they're they're doing okay. They're doing pretty well. The rangers here, they're focusing down the Lake Town guards. Fair enough. Do as much damage to them, force them back. We've got some violent watchmen replacing them. And daily and spear guard also going in. Battle is no longer in their favour. Well, the time is in your favour. There's five minutes left, and there's still plenty of elves alive. I mean, how many? One thousand one hundred against two thousand five hundred. I mean, they could maybe close that gap. The, the, the Dale and the Dwarves are just throwing bodies at it now. No real tactics go into it. And the Elves will quite happily let them run against their spears, I'm sure. There you go. They're retreating again. Over here, though, it does look like they might break through here. This is the, where the concerning choke point is. You've seen Cav come in. Like I said, could do with killing this Revivian Regent. He's in a lot of... Uh, He's a, very much committed, put it like that. If they can kill the other Dale Ar General, that could just basically make the Dale Army redundant. This General just pulled through a bunch of troops here to try and get out. Hopefully loses a bunch, but it doesn't seem like he's gonna. Eh, he's gonna lo lose like five or six, I think. Why you don't pull through? You lose a load of troops. Yeah, they lost like 52. Oh, not 52, but they're down to 52. Hopefully they won't do that again. Because all it does is just make it like other players just go, oh, I'm going to pull through just to try and do that. Like, and also like, if you make a mistake, don't try and pull through to like, make up for the mistake. Just accept it and then just think, well, I won't do that again. That's what I do at least. I try not to pull through. It's only makes the, uh, makes me feel dishonest and the battle doesn't feel like I've actually won it because I've had to cheat. The elves here still holding on. They're getting shot at still by archers. Surprised it's a lot of ammo. Who even is it? I mean, maybe it's crossbows. St still. Surprised there's ammo left. The elves fight side by side. Elves of various different kin. Fighting for one thing. Freedom. And to kill the dwarves. Because everyone wants to kill a good dwarf. Iron guards at nine men. We are seeing a little sneaky flank here. This looks like it's okay. Doesn't look like they're really pulling through anything. 
but it's going to be silenced by Rangers of the Gulf of Loon. These guys should hold back the piling guards for the time that is needed. There's three minutes left. If this reviving region pulls through, I'm going to be very disappointed. Doesn't look like he's... I don't know. He's definitely going to try it. All he's achieved is getting his general stuck in combat. Which I'm sure the elves will appreciate. Stab him up, boys. Stab him up. This is a shock cab. It relies on a good charge. Oh, yeah. He's definitely pulling through. Here we go. Yep. Here we go. Pulls through. Losing a lot of troops there, though, for this. Oh, he needs to lose more. Yeah, here we go. Loses. Going to keep pulling through. Keep pulling through. This is just what you just don't do. I mean, this is just... Someone that just can't accept they're going to lose this fight. And they've got to, they've got to just try, cheat to try and win. They're going to rear charge all the troops now with the Reviling Regents. Like, he just pulled through a full unit of archers. I mean, all he's going to achieve now is his whole guys are going to trap him in. And they'll march forward. I mean, or he's going to just try and pull through this elven fight, which if he does that, he'll also lose a lot of uh, cavs. So he's lost his general either way. For what, one charge? I don't even think he's going to take the point, uh, take this choke point because there's too many elves here. I don't know why the uh, Wooden Realm keeps forming this formation with its pole arms, but it's uh, they are achieving what they need to, and that is killing the Ravanian region. I mean, they can do a stretching amount to make sure there's no escape. Yeah, once this uh, this general is dead, then all daily morale will be broken and shattered, and they will flee. And now, and now the daily player probably realizes what mistake he's made. And hopefully he's feeling a little stupid. Yeah, there you go. Get in a long line formation. There you go. Now he's going to try and pull his way. Yeah, actually it was probably the right time to try. But it's not going to work. This general is going to die. 15 men, 14 men. Halberds, they do well. I mean, this is the general here, I think, in the gold armor. Oh, is he going to get killed? I think he might. Oh, yeah, we didn't really quite get it, but we did just see him get speared. We sort of saw him get speared. And there you go, Dale is without a general. They actually are losing the point. Oh, there's a sword unit that's got here. Oh, yeah, why are we being preoccupied with the general? Um, oh, Dale is just... Yeah, Dale is just pulling through with his army. Okay, fair enough. Dale is pulling through to try and get to... Uh, the cap points, so this day and play is just a bit scummy. That's all I've got to say really about them. Like, if you've got to win like this, you're going to lose so many men doing it. it shows no real skill. Over on this side, they're still holding, and there you go, a draw. But I will give victory to Linden um, because they held the point. And also, Linden had to cheat to try and even... Oh, uh, not Linden. Uh, Dale had to try and cheat and get there. But there you go. Anyway, they were going to win, it seems... Uh, either way with the elves, they were just, I don't know if they were winning in like a war of attrition, but they were certainly going to win on time, and that's what they did. Um, but yeah, so this one was uh, from Simon C's perspective. Um, I took it off the Rise of Mordor uh, Discord. Uh, certainly a very, very fun one. Um, so you're well done to him, to Jeffrey Epstein, to Epic Person, and to Gaper, who are all playing as uh, as the elves. Uh, well done to Dan the Man, to Chicken Wolf, and Sir Saint, and just a chap in a top as well all did a really good job and maybe would have broken through at the end uh, if there'd been more time if they had it unlimited i think they would have done so but the elves with their time limit they just about managed it i think epic person was the one that crashed unfortunately um but yeah so we'll look at sir simon uh, simon c's uh, army first i mean he got 78 kills with his range of the gulf of loon 133 kills with Teleon Wardens, 220 with this one. So, I mean, like, they did pretty well, but I wouldn't say they got, like, insane. I mean, apart from this one, this did very well. But, yeah, they, didn't want, they weren't OP units, put it like that. Uh, Shipwright Noble's getting 113. 222 kills for the Noldorian Swords, 193 with this one. Arch is getting 104 kills, and the Pole Arms getting 78. Then we have Jeffrey Epstein playing as in Ladris. His uh, Law Masters of Rivendell getting 186 kills. 118 kills with his Noldorian Swords. His Sword Masters of Imladris, 177. Um, Pikes, not that many kills. Archers, though, Warriors of Imladris, 336 kills, 152. Some really good kills there. Well done to him. And then Gaper playing as the Wooden Realm. Brought a tiny little army, but very elite. We didn't actually... I think we did see these Forest Archers a little bit, but um, that was the only deal, like, uh, sub-mod unit he brought. 118 kills with his Elven King, most importantly, helping to kill the Ravanian Regent. 
general. We've got 213, uh, 275. Get there eventually. Third time lucky. 273 kills with the Las Garland Blades. 174 with this one. Uh, and then we've got 159 with the Forest Archers, 194 with Lords of Lascar, and 235 kills. That's some insane kills here with the Wooden Realm Archers, which I expect, to be honest. Then we have Dan the Man playing his Erebor. Uh, here, Day 9 for actually really low by the end. 92 uh, kills, and he nearly died. Uh, whether he did die, I'm not sure. Dwarven Barrett Guard, 130 kills. Uh, 102 kills with the Iron Guard, 111 with this one. And the Crosswords and the Tomb Wardens, yeah, not doing a lot. Anyway, Chicken Wolf, I believe, is the one that pulled through with Ravining Regents, but I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's the same, I'm not sure. But uh, no, I think it might have been um, this one here, Chicken Wolf. Uh, 117 kills with his uh, Ravining Regents. So we've got 152, 174 with Daily Swords, 156 with the Violent Guard, and then he yeah, has Bardings and Catapults, not doing too much. Then Sassaint lost his general pretty early on, getting six kills with him, which is unfortunate, but uh, it was a risk he took. And then we've got Dalian Swords here with 152 kills. Violent Guards with 110. Lake Town Guards, 90 kills. 176 kills with the Bardings. So pretty good kills there, even though he lost his general. So well done to him. Then just a chap in the top, playing as the final Erebor army. Had his general, unfortunately, focused down, but he did just about hold on to him. Only getting 31 kills with that Tomb Warden, but pretty pretty much uh, like useless after he got focused down. But it's probably better to keep him safe and rather than be sorry. 79 kills with the Dwarven Warriors. 63 kills with his Axe Warriors and 166 with his Crossbows. It's not too shabby there. It's actually, his Axe Warriors got 30 kills, which is better than I thought they would do. But there you go, guys. That is today's Siege Battle. If you did enjoy, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And I'll see you guys in the next Dolan's Day Siege. Bye for now.